In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a box and whisker plot in Excel version 2010. You actually do this by using a stacked bar chart. And in this tutorial, I'm going to actually put two box and whisker plots in one chart so that you can compare the data. In the end, the chart looks quite nice. Let's get started. I'm just going to remove some of the things that we're going to do. So say, for example, that these are our marks. So we have maybe test A and test B. And the very first thing that we need for the box and whisker plot is the min, Q1, median, Q2, and the max. Now to get those, uh, Excel has functions to do that. So you can see up here, uh, I already have this done, but you can just type in equals min, and you'll do the range for the, that particular mark, uh, those particular marks. So in this case, it's A2 to A23. And if we look at um, how to get the quartile values, Q1, we select the range, and you do comma, comma 1 for the first quartile. Uh, the second quartile, which is also the median, you do quartile 2. You can do quartile 3 for the Q3, and then equals max for the range. And we'll do the same thing for test B. Now notice that the range for test B is from B2 to B23. So now that we've got um, our values that we're going to use to make our box and whisker plot, um, in order to use the stacked um, bar chart or column chart um, that we're going to we're going to use, we uh, we need the differences. So uh, the very first thing that we need to do here is we'll have to calculate the differences. Just by the way that the, the stacked charts work, we, it graphs uh, all the differences. So you'll see how this become clear in a second. So if we put differences there, differences here, and um, the first one, the, this, we just put the minimum value here. So we can just put equals, and that um, is E4. So, and then here we actually get the difference between E5 and E4. So equals E5 minus E4. And now that we've got one there, actually we can just drag it down uh, when we're on the corner, the bottom right corner, and we'll get all of our differences. And actually, we can actually just copy all of these and paste them over for test B and we'll see that it's done it correctly. It's adjusted the range to be I instead of the range here f to be E. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're actually going to graph the differences in our, um, for our graph. And so to s let's select uh, test A's differences and hold down control now and select test, D's, test B's differences. And this is what we need to make our um, our stack bar chart. So we're, we want uh, our two box and whiskers to kind of go horizontally. So we're going to choose a bar chart. And we're going to choose the second one, which is the stack bar chart. And when you do that, you get something that looks like this, which uh, isn't correct. But if, you're in the, if you have the chart selected and you go to the design tab, you'll see switch rows and columns. And that's what we're going to use to make our box and whisker plot. And so you can kind of see the values here, um, this being the median. The, this is the, um, you know, up to Q1, Q2, Q3, and the rest of the data. And this gives us our min here. This gets us to our max. But we need to really uh, modify the way that this looks to make it look like a nice box and whisker plot. So there's a few things we need to do. First off, we can get rid of the, uh, the two blue bars at the very minimum. We don't need those. All we needed that bar was just to get us to the minimum. So we can't delete it, but what we do is we right-click Format Data Series, and we go to, um, sorry, Fill, No Fill, and Close. And now you'll see that it's gone. So that's good. At this point, we need to add the, the whiskers then. And so when we're going to add the whiskers, it's, they're called error bars. And if we click on uh, the purple value, so not the top one, we're actually going to add error bars to, the, to this 
purple one, and it, because it's a positive error bar, it'll actually go um, above it into the blue space. So if we, I if you're selected on that, uh, the way we get to the error bars is up here in the charts tools. If you go to layout, you will see error bars, and we'll just turn on an um, an error bar with standard error. Now that doesn't do what we want it to do at all, but we can change that. Now make sure that you're select on selected the little error bars. Um, if you double click, you should see this screen. If you don't see this screen, it means you missed, you didn't quite double click on the, the error bar correctly. Now we want a plus error bar here uh, because we want the little line on the right hand side. And the way that we make the, the line the right length is we go to custom and specify value. Now we're going to use the, the difference um, where the max is sitting, like so between Q3 and the max, to, for the length of these whiskers. Uh, you use the negative error value for the other whisker. So with uh, the positive error value selected, we click on, uh, sorry, we click on um, the max for test A, and then hold down control, and we now click on the max for test B. So the difference is not the actual max, and just hit enter. Okay, now when you hit OK and close this, you'll actually see that now we have uh, the whisker sitting over top of the, the final bar on the right and we know how to get rid of that um, with it with it both of them select it so just click on it once we right click on it format data series take off the fill so there's no fill and now we have a whisker now for the minus uh, error bars what we actually do is we actually have to click on um, the red one. So for the positive error bars we clicked on the purple one and for the minus error bars because it's actually going to be a minus uh, we actually have to click on the red one this time and we're going to do the same thing. So we come up to error bars standard error bars, uh, we double click on the error um, see I missed it there I didn't quite double click on it so double click on the error bars this time it's going to be a minus and when we go into custom specify value uh, we need to use this value because this is the difference here is the oh <coughs> sorry let me do that again we actually want to select the, the, the value that's um, in the, Q, the difference of the min to the Q1 because that's the length of the whisker but the very important step right here is that we need to change the negative error value because we're doing an error uh, negative a minus error bar so make sure that you're selected. When you're doing your minus error bar, make sure that you've selected the negative error va value. And now uh, we're going to select the difference where the Q1 is lying. Hold down control, select the difference for the Q1 uh, for test B, and hit OK. Close the window. And now you'll see that the whisker is in the right length and it's in the right spot. And we can just get rid of the, uh, the fill on this um, bar. No fill. Okay, so that's looking much better. It actually looks really good. Uh, but but the colors, you know, we don't want this one, them both to be both green and purple, so we need to change some colors here. Um, what we can do is let's get rid of some of these series. So we'll get rid of, if you click on the series alone, we can just hit delete. Um, delete that. We'll delete five. And now what we'll do is series three is, um, let's see, this top one is the test B and the bottom one's the test A. So why don't we make the uh, the top one the green one. So what we're going to do essentially is we're going to make this green and we'll make this purple. Uh, click on it, the, the value twice so that we're only selecting that one box. And now again go into the format data points and this time we go in, we're going to go to the fill and we're going to say solid color and when we click on this uh, actually, the green that's being used, that's the one we're changing. So we want it, them both to be green. And the green that is already there is this one here, right at the top. And then we just hit close. So that looks good. And let's do the same for this one. We're going to make s click on it twice there so that you only select it. And we're going to make this one purple. So Solid color. And it's the purple right here, like the one right at the top. Okay, so that looks better. Now we've lost our, our median bar, so we better go put that Mr. in. Mr. Hurst, 601 please, Mr. Hurst. And the way that we do that is that um, we come back in 
to format data series and we, we're going to put a border color on so just a solid black color and you'll see what that did that drew a box around that one and we do the same for this so format data series border color solid line and make it black it already is okay so this looks better um, that's looking quite good as a box and whisker plots um, the titles here aren't right so the top one is test B the bottom one will be test A so what we'll do for this is if we um, if we right click and say select data so right click on the legend select data you'll see like here's the series legend uh, so we want to modify uh, series 3 and we want to make that test B so what we do is click on series 3 edit and when it says series names we can actually just come up here and click on test B and hit OK and you'll notice it changed and we want to make series 4 uh, test A so we do the same thing click on series 4 click on edit uh, we'll just click on the title test A hit OK and now we have our two now our legend is correct that looks a lot nicer um, it's probably a good idea to put that this is marks on the horizontal legend so if we come up here to um, again if, we're, if, if our chart is selected if we on the layout tab let's add an uh, axis title for the horizontal axis below and let's just put mark okay so that's fine so we can see that these are all the marks from 0 to 100 and now let's put a um, a title on the whole chart so chart title above the chart and maybe we'll call this oops um, test marks um, test A versus test B so that looks nice and we don't really want one and two here if we just select it we can just hit delete on it and it's gone and that's pretty much it um, we can now just copy this and paste it into a word document and we have our chart in our word document for our write-up or our report